You know when you go to a restaurant and the waiter asks if you have any dietary restrictions? I'm pretty sure this next guy has none, zero. In fact, he's known for eating things such as cow stomach, jellyfish, and ants. So can ABC's Lindsay Davis, not known for her culinary adventurousness, survive an eating tour with this guy? Check it out. This is a guy with an appetite for the exotic. Andrew Zimmer ah! is the host of the Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods. Oh he's eaten just about everything, and he's made a living doing it. From deadly stonefish in Japan to toxic cane toads in Australia. Now, how toxic are they? Well, they can kill crocodiles. Mm. I don't do it because I'm a thrill seeker or I'm playing Russian roulette. I do it because the food is commonly eaten in those places. Ants. Fermented fish heads, frog hearts, you name it, he's ingested it. Not bad. But can he convince this burger-loving, meat and potatoes kind of gal to do the same? Nice to see you. To find out, we embarked on a local culinary adventure, getting a taste of the exotic right here in Flushing, Queens. This is pig's ear. Oh, pig's ear. We were greeted by duck heads, that counter selling everything from the rooter to the tutor. Not my typical lunch fare, but Zimmern is determined to push my taste buds to the extreme. This is a fish here? Uh, no, that's the uh, stomach of a cow. Oh, maybe I should have just kept believing it was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what I want with you for TV, yeah. huh? The tripod. Zimmern's mission is to bring people of all cultures together through the shared experience of food. It's like a crunchy, it's a cross between an apple and an almond and you eat it off the nut. Eventually, Zimmern leads us to the real adventure, a restaurant with an unusual specialty. Uh, the cold jellyfish. You want to try jellyfish? Yeah, the cold one. But some, some, some guys say it's a little weird tasty, but I, I'm really? not, yeah, I'm not sure you would like it. Oh, I love it. Jellyfish is something most of us try to avoid, but in some parts of Asia, it's considered oat cuisine. Hi, that's jellyfish. Oh, this is the jellyfish, all right. Is this one of your more popular items here, the jellyfish? Yes, but for Asian people. Oh, really? <laughs> we love it. It's actually pretty good. It kind of has like a vegetable quality to it to me. Zimmern has a stomach of steel. Have you ever gotten sick from, I mean, you're such an adventurous eater. You no, know, the, the only thing that has ever happened to me in terms of uh, my wellness, I picked up a virus about 10 years ago in uh, central Morocco from tainted human. It really wasn't that big a problem. I carry medication around in case it flares up. There's only a handful of people in the world that have it. I'm surprised of all the things that you eat, it's tainted human that gives you some kind of problem. The irony is not lost on me. In his younger days, he didn't just reserve his try anything attitude for food. I was kicked out of college a couple of times and went overseas and cooked and cooked in New York. and. Um, Along the way, I developed a horrific drug and alcohol problem that almost killed me. Zimmern went to rehab and has been sober 23 years. But once I sobered up and I got a little time under my belt, I realized that the thing that actually gave me the most peace of mind was the idea that in doing something for other people, you feel better about yourself and your own problems. Zimmern has become a rock star in the food world. Bizarre Foods is now in its seventh season. He's an author and James Beard Award winner. He has his own line of cookware and also faithfully documents his culinary adventures on Instagram and sends out tweets to his more than 740,000 followers. I think showing people how similar we are to the other cultures around the world through food, it helps us relate to each other. No meal of cow stomach and jellyfish is complete without dessert. And for that, we head to a place called Beautiful Memory. There's like a thousand people in here eating lunch right now. I was a bit nervous about what counts as dessert in Zimmern's bizarre food world. They specialize in uh, fresh fruit desserts with a combination of sometimes shaved snow. But my tummy was quickly soothed by this frozen delight. Oh, this is very good. It's so fresh. But get into the coconut ice before that melts, it'll blow your mind. 
I'll take mind blowing over stomach churning any day. I thought this was going to be the latter. I was wrong. I thought the things that we were going to eat might be biting. I'd rather introduce people slowly to things, get you curious, and now you'll try the fermented porcupine foot all on your own. I don't have to do it. <laughs> There's a better chance anyway. <laughs> uh, that is true. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in Flushing, Queens.